G'day guys, Josh Huggett back again and today we are doing a behind the scenes uh, video of another wedding that we're going to. So if you're getting married or if you are a wedding photographer looking for some behind the scenes footage of what happens on a wedding day, uh, today we are doing a wedding in Kaipo Forest which is a very popular spot down here in South Australia. Uh, so we're in Jack's Paddock, I think it's called the first one, and then we're going to Kaipo Hall which is a very very popular wedding uh, venue. We are at... Manor Estate, getting our before photos, our getting ready photos of the bride and the groom in the same spot, which is really good because we don't have to drive from side to side. Uh, yeah, this is us, we're at the Manor. Let's go do the photos. Huh. Are they up here in this house? Just look a little bit more towards Josh yep. while you're doing whatever you're doing. Nice. Got it. Rotate a few degrees towards us. Yeah, nice. Grab your booties. Yep, come on. Nice and slow. 
So, looked inside, there aren't that many uh, really nice windows to take a photo of the dress. That's the first thing we did when we come to a wedding day is we take photos of the wedding dress. The details like the rings and the bouquet and the shoes and the perfume and all of those little things so that people can get used to us being in the room before we just start snapping photos of you. Uh, so we brought the dress outside because we've got nice shade here, uh, nice lights, it's all symmetrical and all good. Good dress, beautiful dress, great spot. Uh, so yeah, now we'll go inside we'll take some photos of all more of the details. Yeah, so back to the original conversation that I've yes. got to finish. Uh, we'll start photos at the time. More photos, which will be a bit looser because everybody's had a bit more to drink. <laughs> and <laughs> then <a> uh, <laughs> send the bridal party back and then just have you two back there again and we'll just take some more final photos. Okay, that was Less time. And there are a lot. Um, but yeah, that way you can actually just spend more time. Don't start shaking till I say so. And just when you think it's finished its load, there's the, the second load, so just shake again. Just keep shaking until I say so. Uh, no, not ready. Alright, ready, set, go! There we go. Happier. <laughs> oh, that tastes not right. Just going to take a few seconds here to run you through this video's sponsors. I'm sure you've seen all of these sorts of posts before, but we are sponsored by Aftershoot. Aftershoot is the all-in-one AI culling and editing software. Uh, so if you are still culling your photos manually, you are a sucker because you could be doing it way fast using a computer. Um, we use Aftershoot for absolutely everything. Uh, we use it for our photo culling and for our photo editing. Um, we use it a little bit different than most people. Some people try it. They like, oh, I can't do the entire thing just through one software. Like I clicked Carl and I still had to delete some photos. 
yeah, it's a computer. It's not going to completely color your thing, but it does significantly cut down the amount of editing and culling that you will need to do yourself. If you haven't tried it, make sure you do. Uh, you do get 10% off if you click the link in our bio or you just use Josh10 at the checkout. Um, it is fantastic. I've been using it since its inception, inception, and I'll be using it all the way through. Rather than paying per image, which some other culling and editing softwares will make you do, this is just a small monthly fee. Uh, so because we get viewers from all over the world, I don't know where you're from. It is like 50 bucks. Go and have a gander. Uh, I'm sure you'll bloody love it. And uh, yeah, thank you Aftershoot for sponsoring this and looking after me for the last like six years of weddings. And I checked recently, we're at 880,000 photos culled through Aftershoot. So thank you Aftershoot and uh, back to the video. I made it myself. <laughs> Look up and keep going. Keep it a fluid thing. Nice. I'm laughing at you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. 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 Alright, so we've now finished the girls getting ready and the boys getting ready. <laughs> you forgot to film a monologue for that. Uh, but yeah, you've seen the boys getting ready footage, the girls getting ready footage. We're now leaving the getting ready. Uh, we head to the ceremony half an hour before the bride and the groom. That gives us, well, I don't really have to set anything up because I just carry cameras. But it gives Lewis time to set up recorders and tripods and, and everything else. It also just makes sure that we're there to capture the girls arriving. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head to the ceremony location now set up. Uh, we have a super long window for photos today so what we like to do is actually get the people back to the reception so that they can actually hang out with their friends and family. We don't need two and a half hours to take photos. If we can do all the photos in like 40 minutes uh, we're very very happy so we're going to take some photos after the ceremony then send everybody back to the reception so that they can all just have a really good time and then do another sunset photo so shoot. But let's go to the ceremony and do some ceremony photo wedding stuff together. Nice. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Uh, so we're at the ceremony location now. I did just sneak over and take some photos of the reception area before people got there. Uh, we had some time to do that, so you can see those photos now. Uh, we're just waiting for the brides to arrive now uh, and then the ceremony is just down here. Very harsh light from the ceremony today. Um, can't control it. The ceremony lighting is out of our control. Everything else we try to control. Ceremonies, we're kind of at the mercy of Mother Nature. Um, we're going a three camera system today. We have the 24 millimeter, the f well, I'm on the 85 1.2 and then I do have my film camera as well because uh, it's like an old school day and I feel like doing some old school stuff. Uh, so the girls should be here any second. They're literally just over there at the reception area. That's the good thing about Kaipo Hall uh, is that like because it's all in one spot, you normally get married at like Burbrook Forest or you can come over here to Kaipo itself. Um, so Burbrook Forest is about 500 meters down the road, but you're all really, really close together. So you can just send your guests back to the next spot and then go hang out at Kaipo Hall. So they're using the loo. Then we're gonna have a ceremony. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have some photos. We're gonna have a really good time. Uh, and these are the ceremony photos now. Mm -hmm. 